Welcome to another episode of Grow With Your Garden. Lunar calendar or folk tradition? You can argue forever about how and when is the right time to water your garden. But what you can't argue about, with the Gardena Smart System, you don't have to lift a finger. Or more accurately, just lift one. And the job is done. Let's have a closer look at how it goes. With the Gardena Smart Irrigation Control Unit, I can water up to six zones independently of one another using the Gardena Smart System app on my smartphone. Whether with the Gardena Sprinkler System or the Micro Drip System. I can even individually adjust the watering intervals and duration to suit the needs of each planting area. And thanks to the smart sensor, I can't overwater anymore either. And if you're thinking, oh my god, that has got to be really complicated to install, then I can assure you, actually it's really simple. Since the Gardena smart irrigation control is splash-proof, you can mount it on the outside of the house with no problem, even on exactly the spot where your existing control unit was. The smart irrigation control can also make other irrigation systems smart that aren't from Gardena. For example, commercially available 24-volt irrigation valves and other system elements. To install the smart irrigation control, first mark the locations for drilling. To do so, take the covering off, hold the control unit on the wall, use a spirit level to straighten it out, and mark the holes 120 millimeters apart. Then drill the holes and attach the control unit with the delivered anchors and screws. With wood and other similar surfaces, you can do it without the anchors. Incidentally, if you would like to connect more than one valve box, there's a special Gardena connector which you can order from the spare part surface. Hooking up the valve box. First, label the three valves with the numbered yellow stickers. Fasten the clamp brackets in the valve box. Each valve has two cables. Attach one from each to the clamps one, two, and three. Attach each of the others to a clamp C. If you use two valve boxes, you need to connect these with one another. To do so, label the valves in the second box with the numbered stickers. Attach a cable from each valve to the clamps 4, 5 and 6. Attach each of the second cables to a clamp C. Then connect the clamps 4, 5, 6 and C of the first valve box and the clamps 4, 5, 6 and C of the second valve box with a short piece of cable. Next comes the connecting cable for the control unit. Insert the rubber seals into the provided holes in the valve box. The connecting cable can run into the box on the left or the right as needed. Just use the seals accordingly. Next, insert the connecting cable into the valve box and hook up the seven individual stripped leads to the clamps one to six and C of the terminal strip. Now, just close the valve box securely and bury it. When the valve box has been assembled and buried, the only step left is to hook up the connecting cable to the control unit. To do so, just connect the seven leads of the connecting cable from the valve box with the corresponding clamps 1 to 6 and C of the control unit. Simply push the corresponding latch with your finger or a small screwdriver, insert the cable into the clamp from below, release the latch, and the cable is connected. Likewise, connect the cable ends of the adapter with 24 volts AC. In case you're like me and don't just want to irrigate with water from the tap, but also from the rain barrel and the like. Using the master channel of the smart irrigation control, you can also hook up the Gardena pump control system with which you can operate pumps with an output of up to 2000 watts. Connect the adapter to the power supply. With smart irrigation control, you can manage everything with your smartphone. To do so, download the Gardena smart system app and set up an account. For the initial startup, you need to configure the gateway. Just follow the instructions. Then set the timing for each individual zone with the help of the app. That's all it takes. So just relax, enjoy your garden instead of watering it.